Happy Thursday, everyone. Um, we have about 20 minutes and we're gonna be exploring Aloha today. My name is Tina. I'm an account executive here at Aloha ABA. I actually started in the field as an RBT and I trained RBTs as well. So I'm familiar with the ABA side from more of a clinical standpoint and RBT standpoint, as well as the administrative side, which is what we're gonna be seeing in Aloha today. So today I'm gonna be going over a quick overview of what Aloha has to offer ABA practices. Um, we are going to keep it short today, very high level today in terms of um, the purpose of today's demo just being an overview. We are gonna show you some capabilities of Aloha and if you would like to do a deep dive, I would love to spend some one-on-one -on -one time with you um, to deep dive further. Um, at the very end of today's call as well, I'm going to be opening up for questions. So get familiarized with how the Zoom meeting is set up. There's a Q&A. It should be at the bottom of your screen. And you can always drop questions as we're going through the demo today. Okay, let's go ahead and jump in and get started. I'm going to get my screen shared with you guys. All right, so I am starting you off on our gorgeous dashboard. The dashboard is the first thing that you see when you log into your Aloha system. It has a ton of different widgets that's going to give you a lot of KPI and a lot of information about what's happening inside of your system. This is an admin view. So if you have access to seeing everything as an admin, this is similar to what a dashboard would look like, but of course you're gonna set it up based on permissions. Um, I'm gonna point out a few of these really valuable widgets. Expiring qualifications here is showing you any staff qualifications coming up on expiration. It defaults to the next 30 days. You can toggle farther in the future. You can also click on it. Clicking on it will take you inside to a report for more information. Qualifications here is anything that you would like to define as a qualification for tracking purposes. RBT licenses, BCBA licenses, HIPAA trainings, CPR trainings, internal trainings, whatever you'd like to build out. Very similarly, we have an expiring authorizations widget. Any auths coming up on expiration for your kiddos. Next 30 days is default, can toggle farther in the future, and again, click on it for more information. A couple of billing-related widgets I love to point out here. Unbilled appointments is going to be helpful to make sure that no appointments are slipping through the cracks. Unbilled appointments means that these appointments are ready to be billed, they've been rendered, but they have not been submit, submitted to billing yet, so they haven't been processed. Aging report is showing you a glance at what's happening with billing each month. Amount billed to the amount outstanding bar. Amount billed, what is going out? Amount outstanding, this bar should be shrinking as you're getting payments back into the system. We're gonna talk about what that looks like today. If this was my June though, it's showing me I'm not getting paid for June. Thankfully, it's just a demo site though. Billing summary, this is showing you um, an overview of what you're billing each month. Canceled appointment summary is giving you a glance at your cancellations within your calendar. You customize whatever cancellations you'd like to see and track here. And then this is showing you how often they're happening each month. Bottom widgets show you what's going on in your own schedule. They all start with the word my, your own week, your own day, your own mileage, if you guys are tracking mileage. This is probably more of the widgets that a BT or an RBT would see when they're logging in. And again, it is completely based on the permissions that you set for them. What I wanna dive into next is going to be a client's profile. Every client's going to have their own profile. Every staff is going to have their own profile and every payer is going to have their own profile. For today's purposes, I'm going to give you a high level overview of a client's profile and authorization. Um, so keep in mind, I would have already built out the payer on the back end and I have already built out a staff on the back end. So in my client's profile, I want to zone into this authorization tab with you guys. This authorization tab is going to be showing me limits, what I can schedule for this kiddo, um, and all of the details of their policy. So in this authorization, the auth number goes at the very top. Date range tells us when we can schedule. The service name here is a service that you would have defined at the payer level setup. And by pulling in this service name at the auth, all of your fee schedule information pulls with it. So behind direct service here would be your billing code, your charge rate, your contract rate, modifiers, 
rounding rules, everything from your fee schedule setup pools inside. Your allowed limit is set here at the authorization level as well. This can be written however you need to define that limit. So units and off, very common, but also units a week, hours a week, whatever you need to put it in as. Then you can set some defaults here to set yourself up for billing. These defaults are typically very repetitive if it's the same uh, client, same service. But if these things changed, you can always change them at the scheduling level or the billing level. So this is that authorization setup. We're gonna talk about utilization that's coming from this allowed limit when we jump into our schedule in just a bit. Okay, so let's take a peek at a sample schedule. This is a sample schedule of a staff member at a week view. I'm gonna give you a breakdown of what we're seeing from an external standpoint, and then we'll dive inside and talk a little bit more about billable appointments. To the very left-hand side of all of my appointments are these icons, and these are letting me know the type of appointment that it is. Anything billable has this icon right here, clipboard with some text in it. Lunchtime or break time appointments for staff is a coffee cup. Anything non-billable for staff are a blank clipboard. So this is things like trainings, onboardings, meetings, anything you want to track for payroll, but is not getting sent anywhere for billing. And then your car icon is any drive time or mileage tracking appointment. We can track drive time, we can track mileage. Um, you can turn on both of them for tracking or you can just track one or the other depending on your system. Over on the right, you have your status bubbles and these are letting you know if the appointment is completed or not completed. Completed in Aloha is a filled in circle like this. And it means that that appointment is ready to go to billing if it's billable, ready to go to payroll if it's payable, has been rendered. That's a filled in circle, so it means completed. An open circle means not yet completed, not ready to go to billing or payroll, has not been rendered. If I single click on anything billable, I can see my authorization utilization. So I single clicked on Joey, my client's direct service appointment, I can see he has 1,200 total units in his authorization date range. And then of those 1,200 total units, I can see what's scheduled versus not. And then of those that are scheduled, what's completed versus not. So very easy snapshot of my utilization. This I mentioned is a week view for one staff. We do have lots of different views here. You can zone into a day, kind of stretches everything out zone out to a month view. And then we also have something called a timeline view. And timeline views are super helpful when you're thinking about seeing multiple people at once. This is my one staff member. I can add in an individual staff, an individual client, or a team of people onto this view. I'm gonna show you an example with a team, but keep in mind, you can create and customize your teams as you need to. So you could probably have caseload teams, region teams, all staff, all clients, however you'd like to group your people together in your company. And here is an example of multiple people on this timeline view. Okay, I'm gonna jump us back into our week view. And I wanna talk a little bit about the clinical side and the integrations that we offer for that. So we integrate with a couple of data collection systems. We currently have integrations with Motivity and Hirasmus for data collection. And then we have an upcoming integration that's releasing with Catalyst. So in Aloha, this integration is designed to be able to pull in information from those clinical systems, complete the appointments, and basically push it into billing. So I'm gonna talk you through what that looks like, and then we'll jump to the billing side. When you're scheduling in Aloha, you can click wherever you'd like, add your staff and client, and then select your service from the pop-up. Add in your date, start, end time, save it, repeat it out if you need to. That's the first step in an integration. If I were integrated with a clinical system and I hit save here, that's gonna push that information of that appointment into my clinical system. In that clinical system, I would be taking my data, creating my session notes, signing off in my session note, and the approvals are in place then the approvals would be set at the clinical level as well, maybe an additional signature on the session note. Once all of that comes back inside to Aloha, 
Then it's going to complete the appointment for that staff, pull the signatures from the session notes, staff signature will copy over as well as client. It'll sync the times from that session note. That's so important in case of an audit, you always wanna make sure you're billing what the session note reflects. So that time syncing is key. And then it will also create a session note URL link in the appointment so you can click the URL, see the session note in relation to this appointment. So that is how that integration sync would happen between Aloha and a clinical partner. Once your appointments are completed, so your little status bubbles are filled in, then we are ready to bill. So let's walk through billing briefly. I am going to first come into my billing manager screen. Billing manager is basically where I'm going to go to scrub the information before submitting. I'm gonna select the payer that I would like to bill for and the date range that I would like to bill. When I hit generate, all of my unbilled appointments that have been completed populate here. So as I mentioned, this is my scrubbing screen. Um, it's basically designed to pull that setup information so that I can look it over before sending it to the clearinghouse. Now, Aloha does do an initial scrub for you, and that's through these colored check boxes on the left. Most of mine are green. Green is great. It means nothing is missing in that initial Aloha scrub. Anything that is orange is letting me know something is missing that needs to be added before I can bill it. If I hover over this orange checkbox, it's telling me what is missing. So in this example, a rendering provider. I can come to that column here, make the selection to add in that rendering provider. And then because that was the only thing missing in that initial scrub, it goes back into a green checkbox. At that point, we always recommend go ahead, look it over, make sure that everything looks good. It's usually very clean at this level. Anything in the blue text can be changed or adjusted as needed. So just like you saw with that little drop down at the rendering provider, all of the blue text have a drop down for you. Once you feel good about all this information, what you'll do is you'll select the appointments that you would like to bill for and click process billing. This is gonna pull this information into a claim form and send it to the clearinghouse. So we integrate with a couple of clearinghouses. Our preferred clearinghouse is Office Ally, and we also have an integration with Availity. At that point, your claims have been billed. In Aloha, those claims are then going to be sitting in the AR Manager section. In AR Manager, this is your outstanding balances. So let me give you a breakdown of what we're seeing here. All of your payers are gonna be listed on the left. All of your outstanding balances are listed on the right. And then these full outstanding balances are broken into aging buckets in the center. And these let you know how long it's been since it's been billed. Current less than 30 days since billed, 30 to 60 days since billed, 60 to 90, et cetera. I can click inside any of these balances to get more information. So let's do that. I click inside, I can see a list of all of the claims that make up that balance. If I'm calling and I'm checking on a claim, I can use this clock tool to read off all of the claim information that they'd ask on the phone for location. And then at the very bottom, there's a transaction log that follows me around the Aloha system. So it's automatically going to log, when did I bill it? Who billed it? What time? Have I posted any payments towards it? It's also going to be a spot for you to add yourself notes. So if you are making calls and you get reference numbers and they tell you all of these things, it's a great spot to be able to add that to the transaction log. That way, every time you look back on that claim, you can see what's going on with it. And then clicking inside again takes you into the charge lines. So that's how your AR is navigated. It's a big breakdown of claims and charge lines. Next, I'm gonna jump you into the payment center. So the payment center is going to be where all of your payments are gathered. Your ERAs from your clearinghouse will automatically pull in here to the payment center. When you have a new ERA, it'll show up in the payment center. You'll be able to click on it, view the ERA in Aloha, and then at the very bottom, there'll be an auto post button. Auto posting an ERA means that if we can match up what was paid to what was billed, we're able to auto post it for you line by line of that ERA. 
It also takes any client responsibility and transfers it to the client balance. So things like co-pays, co-insurance deductibles. We auto post about 85% of ERAs. Anything that cannot be auto posted, it'll tell you, say one line needs manual posting. You can go in manually match that line. From there, you can always generate invoices from any of the outstanding numbers. So client responsibility invoices, super bills, if you have private pay. Um, we have school district invoices as well, if maybe you, you have school districts as a payer. We also can always generate verification forms for regional centers. If there is any other payments that are coming in to you, maybe an outside credit card system or um, a check, you can always come in and manually post those payments. The last thing that I wanna show you before um, we round out today's quick demo is our list of reports. So we have reports on everything that you have in the system, scheduling, staff, client information, auth information, payments and billing information. Uh, you can pull a payroll report from the system as well. All of these reports you can view in Aloha. You can also export into Excel at any time. So you can take your data out as you need. Okay, I'm gonna stop sharing my screen. That's gonna conclude the walkthrough demo of today. Um, and there's just the condensed version of what Aloha has to offer. Um, if anyone wants to schedule one-on-one -on -one and go deeper, I would be happy to go through that with you. Um, we are giving a 30-day trial to anyone that um, connects with me and wants to begin with Aloha today. I'm going to be sending an email with all of the information after we round out for today's webinar. I do want to go over pricing and onboarding, and then I'll jump into any questions. So pricing for Aloha is $29.99 per staff per month. We are completely month to month. We do not have any contracts. And then as I mentioned, we are giving a free 30-day trial as well. In that free 30-day trial, you will be starting your onboarding process. Onboarding is very hands-on, very structured. You will be assigned to a dedicated customer success manager, and that person will walk you through weekly Zoom trainings. And they are going to show you how to do everything and do it with you. So they are very hands-on. They will make sure that you get your questions answered and you will have access to that person's calendar throughout your journey at Aloha. So very, very hands-on dedicated support. We also have an awesome support team. You can submit support tickets. Um, you can also give them a ring. We have a support phone line. Um, so very hands-on support that is included in your $29.99 per staff per month. And then as I mentioned, no contracts. We are completely month to month. Okay, let me see if there's any questions from the call. Does this accommodate OT and speech? That's a good question. We do have providers that come in that have multidisciplinary, including OT, speech, psych, PT, and those codes are able to be put into Aloha. Good question. I hope that you guys have a lovely rest of your day. Thanks for spending a quick 20 minutes with me. Um, I hope that it was helpful and I'll be reaching out to you guys with a recording of today's call. So if you do have any one-on-one -on -one questions or you wanna meet with me specifically, please do not hesitate to reach out to me by email. You can give me a call or you can book a time directly on my calendar. I will talk to you guys soon and I hope that everyone has a great rest of your day and a great rest of your week. Bye guys.